With nearly 47 crore female voters comprising half of India's total electorate, women wield a significant influence in the upcoming 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Recognizing this, both the major national parties of India, BJP and Congress, are vying for their support, understanding their pivotal role to play in shaping the 18th Lok Sabha. BJP has branded them as Nari Shakti and proposed Taylor Welfare Scheme, while the Congress Party has also launched various initiatives under the Nyaya banner to attract these female voters. However, some recent events indicate that Congress is facing recurring challenges highlighting the party's ongoing predicaments. Despite the concerted efforts to appeal to women voters, Congress finds itself in a loop position suggesting a need for strategic reassessment. Starting with the latest controversy where the Congress party leader simply derogated Kangana Ranaut's Monday candidacy. Congress spokesperson Supriya Srinate criticized actor Kangana Ranaut set to contest from Lok Sabha election from Monday in Himachal Pradesh over an objectionable social media post. The post, featuring a photo of Ranaut, inquired about the market rate in Monday. Srinate later clarified that the post was made by someone with access to her Facebook and Instagram account labeling it as extremely inappropriate. But this post went mad viral on social media, triggering outcry. The post has since been removed. Ranaut, known for her vocal stance, also responded affirming every woman's dignity. She even stated that rather than using compulsion of sex workers as a slur, the party must respect the dignity of a woman. In addition, the matter has also already escalated to levels where the National Commission of Women has also taken the matter into consideration and knocked on the election commission's door. Srinathay's recent claim of a third party posting fails to visitate the damage caused and BJP, on the other hand, is already holding the Congress party accountable for what disrespecting women has done, further putting the latter on the defensive. However, this incident is not isolated. Congress's record on women's dignity is under scrutiny. Within just a short span of just one and a half months, three instances have occurred where Congress has instrumentalized women on political gains. During the Bharat Jodo Nyayatra in Prayagraj, Rahul Gandhi also criticized the BJP's Pran Pratishta event at the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya, lamenting the absence of OBC and Dalit, highlighting their exclusion among the billionaires and Bollywood celebrities. But the way he did triggered controversies. However, these remarks stirred controversy. Rahul Gandhi questioned the presence and absence of OBC at the ceremony, but the media's special focus of the denial of poverty. Instead, he stated that the media wants to focus on Ashwara Rai dancing rather than showing any sort of poverty. In response, the BJP condemned Rahul Gandhi's repeated mention of Ashwara Rai in speeches, labeling it as disrespectful to women and Kannadigas. Then of course, the famous Shakti remark. In a recent speech, Rahul Gandhi stated that in Hindu dharam, there is a term called Shakti, also known as power. Today, we are fighting one such Shakti. We are fighting one such Shakti. एक शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं। राजा की आत्मा ईवीएम में है। This remark was personally criticized by PM Modi himself. Modi at that time accused Congress and its allies, including Tamil Nadu, DMK, of aiming to destroy Shakti in Salem. He asserted that they will be the one to get destroyed instead. Modi also emphasized that women are his Shakti, and he accepts Rahul Gandhi's challenge, adding that the answer will be given on 4th of June. मुकाबला 4 जून को हो जाएगा। कौन शक्ति का विनाश कर सकता है और कौन शक्ति के आशीर्वाद प्राप्त कर सकता है इसका मुकाबला चार जून को हो जाएगा। Now as the BJP seizes upon this vulnerability, Congress itself finds in a very precarious position, grappling with its tarnished image regarding the gender equality. On one side, it runs a campaign of ginti karo to uplift the backwards, but then Congress also lays such remarks on women's dignity. This pattern indeed exposes a systematic issue within the party, undermining its credibility on women issues. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.